The purpose of this video is to visually demonstrate what 25 grams of protein looks like in 10 different sources of protein-rich food. So why 25 grams of protein? Why not 30, 40, 50, etc.? Well, 25 is actually not an arbitrary number. There is a wealth of scientific evidence that claims the most effective protein dose for maximal stimulation of muscle growth appears to be 20 to 25 grams of protein per meal. Protein consumption beyond this recommended range does not appear to further stimulate muscle protein synthesis, although larger individuals and those with a relatively high amount of muscle mass will need to consume more than 25 grams of protein per meal due to their greater metabolic needs for muscle maintenance and growth. Research suggests that for athletes and those who want to gain muscle mass, daily protein consumption should be 1.2 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, which conveniently for us Americans is approximately 0.5 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight. Aiming for the higher end of this range is a good way to ensure you are getting enough protein for muscle growth. So, if you are 150 pounds looking to gain muscle, you should aim to eat about 75 to 150 grams of protein per day with at least 25 grams of protein per meal. Now, it's not just any 25 grams of protein, but 25 grams of high quality protein. What is a high quality protein? If a protein source is made up of about 40% or more of essential amino acids and contains all nine essential amino acids, it is considered high quality. It's not necessary to go into the minutia of essential amino acids and protein profiles. For basic reference, all animal protein is high quality, but high quality protein is generally harder to come by when eating purely vegetarian sources. Four out of the 10 protein sources in this video are oval lacto vegetarian, two out of 10 are vegan, and all 10 are sources of high quality protein. In addition, nine out of the 10 foods in this video are primarily comprised of protein, meaning that protein is the predominant macronutrient when looking at the relative proportions of protein, carbohydrate, and fat. None of the foods are 100% protein, but some are definitely closer to that percentage than others. And in this video, you will see a nutritional breakdown captioned with each protein source. All of the foods, save for one, are shown in the exact same container to have a consistent scale for comparison. The dish is 7 inches long, 5 inches wide, and 1.5 inches deep. Without further ado, here are the different protein-rich foods in the order of animal protein, ovo-lacto-vegetarian protein, and vegan protein. Just a quick summary and a couple very important considerations. If your goal is to gain muscle, you should consume 0.5 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight daily by eating at least 25 grams of high quality protein per meal. Secondly, 
you will need to eat a caloric surplus daily to gain muscle, meaning that your overall calorie consumption will need to exceed your daily energy expenditure. Thirdly, you will need to consistently do some kind of strength training program to give your body a reason to adapt towards muscle growth. I hope this video was helpful in building a practical understanding of portion sizes with protein-rich foods. For more detailed information on the science behind protein and how protein intake relates to gaining muscle, check out the article linked in the description entitled Optimal Protein Consumption for Muscle Growth, which is from my website, colinbrandon.com. Thanks for watching.